Hello everyone welcome to the session and today we are going to discuss the October month current affairs for your upcoming AO4 mains examination so we know that in your mains examination uh, we expect around 2 to 3 questions from current affairs or maximum 5 okay uh, so this section is important for us and after completing all your static part uh, after then only you should move to this current affairs part because uh, this is unpredictable part of the syllabus and uh, I would suggest just cover your static part and then give uh, two to two days or, or two days for your this current affairs. Okay, uh, so yes, let's start with the October current affairs for your A for examination. So the first news is NABARD announces first investment under AgriSure Fund at Global Fintech Festival. So what you have to learn and this is the AgriSure Fund. So what is this AgriSure Fund? It is the Agriculture Sector Upscaling and Resilience Enhancement Fund uh, which is uh, developed by NABARD. The organization that you have to remember is the NABARD. And it is a dedicated investment vehicle established by NABARD and the Ministry of Agriculture to support the agri focused startups so the fund name is agrisure fund the agency is the nabard ministry of, and ministry of agriculture and the purpose of the fund is to serve the agri focused startups and technological innovation this is the much you have to remember from this news okay so yes now, second news is kapas kranti mission okay so central government launch 600 crore kapas kranti mission to enhance cotton productivity so we we know that in the budget they announced they that government is going to release uh, some mission or uh, to increase uh, the productivity in cotton and the pulses okay and now the there are approvals uh, by cabinet uh, happened so these things are in news okay we know uh, most of the outline and the structure is ready for both the missions okay so these missions are important for your examination so please pay attention so kapas kranti mission what you have to remember the outlay that is 600 crores it is for what purpose purpose is the uh, enhanced cotton productivity and promote sustainable cultivation practices in cotton okay and yes uh, then you are going to go focus on long staple high yield cotton through scientific innovations and farmer oriented extension services okay so is this this much uh, is sufficient for your examination the ministry is of course ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare budget allocation is important 600 crore and this, these are the states that we are going to focus the agencies will be ICR central institute for cotton research you can go and search the headquarter of this okay uh, just comment down the headquarter of ICR central institute for cotton research then cotton corporation of India and different agencies okay uh, so these are the things that are important from Kapas Kranti machine. So yes, next uh, news is Niti Aayog releases a report on deep sea and offshore fisheries in India. Okay, so fisheries is quite in news these days. So this thing, this thing is important. Uh, yes, so this report uh, was titled as India's Blue Economy Strategy for Harnessing Deep Sea and Offshore Fisheries. Okay, and it was launched by Professor Ramesh Chand, a member of Niti Aayog and Sri B V R Subramanyam, uh, CEO of Niti Aayog. Okay, so these two uh, prominent personalities re released this report. Okay, so yes, uh, the what are the two things that are important from this new the India's rank. So India's rank in fish production is second, right? And in aquaculture also India's rank is second. So India's rank in both fish production criteria in aquaculture criteria is second and uh, it contributes 8% to the global. This is again important uh, for you 8% India contributes or uh, gives 8% of global fish production. Okay. And uh, yes, these are the two things that I want you to remember uh, from this article. Next news article is about natural farming gains 
ट्रैक्शन इन हिमाचल प्रदेश ओके सो यस नेचुरल फार्मिंग एज अ कंसेप्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एग्रोनॉमी द डेफिनेशन दे कैन आस्क कंसेप्ट बेस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन नेचुरल फार्मिंग एंड अगेन देर इज वन स्कीम रिलेटेड टू द हिमाचल प्रदेश दैट वी हैव टू कवर ओके सो हिमाचल प्रदेश इज वेटनेसिंग अ स्टेडी ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम केमिकल बेस्ड टू नेचुरल सिस्टेनेबल फार्मिंग द स्टेट्स फ्लैगशिप प्राकृतिक खेती कौशल किसान योजना and yeah ms we have encouraged thousands of farmer to go for natural farming okay so what is this prakritik kheti kaushal kisan yojana so this was launched in the year 2018 to promote natural non chemical farming practices for sustainable and soil sustainable soil and health okay uh, and uh, yes under this there is a certification called as a Setara NF that is certified evaluation tool for agri resource analysis that is again important so this Setara NF is an online self assessment tool that allows farmer to evaluate their adherence to the natural so Setara is what it is related to natural farming it is a online self assessment tool that allows farmer to evaluate their adherence to natural farming practices and what is natural farming natural farming is a way of growing crops without using chemical fertilizers pesticide or genetically modified seeds you are you are not allow, allowed to use external inputs instead uh, this farming uh, technology relies on nature's own processes to keep soil healthy and plant strong okay so yes this is what is the natural farm so let's jump to the next news india's mariculture ambition and icr cmfri initiative go and cover the headquarter of this particular institute okay uh, then india aims what is this news so india aims to significantly expand its marine fish production to meet rising seafood demand and address the resource depletion challenges so this icr central marine fisheries research institute targets 2.5 billion tons of mariculture production by uh, 2047 so uh what is the target target is 2.5 million tons of mariculture the production for marine uh resources by 2047 right uh, and yes uh, we are going to use different techno technologies like cage culture integrated multi tropic aquaculture to increase this production sustainably right so yes this is uh, that you have to remember next is icr approves 28 new wheat and barley varieties ahead of sowing season so what how you can cover uh, things from this go and cover the scientific name of wheat and barley okay go and cover scientific name of both these cereals and what is this news the varieties different varieties are double a uh, punjab agriculture university uh, two approved two varieties approved from this so pbw and pbw 915 pbw 906 and pbw 915 so they might ask question that pbw are the variety pbw 906 and pbw 915 are the varieties related to which of the following crop so you have to uh, uh, do the uh, current affairs from this angle also, okay so yes next question is enam platform expanded with the nine new commodities okay so government of india has expanded enam that is national agriculture market by adding a nine new commodities increasing the total tradable items to 247 okay so these are the total number of commodities that are now uh, tradable on the enam platform so enam was launched in the year 2016 and it con- connects all the apmc mandi across india into unified national digital marketplace okay so enam is again important and those nine new varieties are green tea tea dry, ashwagandha dry roots oils like mustard lavender mentha virgin oil olive oil lavender dried flour and broken rice these are the nine new varieties and as i said total tradable uh, but um, uh, commodities are uh, 247 okay next is kisan craft launches nationwide campaign to promote dry direct seeded rice technology so what you have to take from this news is what is dry direct seed rice technology so what it is it is an alternative to traditional transplanting method of paddy cultivation okay it is grown on non padal fields 
without standing water making it more water efficient cost effective and sustainable and technique involves uh, directly sowing rice seeds into dry soil instead of transplanting seedlings from the nursery so, so what will uh, what is the positive we are going to save water and it is cost effective uh, less labor will be required and is sustainable okay uh, so you have to take from this news is what is a dry direct seeded rice technology is okay next is national pulse mission this is again important for you because this is uh, this was there in the budget and now most of the guidelines are made and the cabinet also approved it okay so national pulse mission is released for the six years uh, and the approval was recently given by the union cabinet nodal ministries of course ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare duration is six years as i said starting from financial year 2026 to financial year 31 okay budget is again important 11440 crore okay budget is 11440 crore uh, then objective is achieve atma nirbharta self reliance in pulses as more most of majority of the pulses are exported from other countries uh, increasing the foreign foreign uh, what we can say there is a cost that we want to reduce right and we want to achieve this self reliance in this uh, pulse production and for that specific reason this mission is released okay so yes to boost the domestic production we are going to raise production to 350 lakh tons we are going to expand area to 310 lakh hectares okay just don't get confused 350 is here we are talking about production and 310 is we are talking about the area okay enhance productivity reduce imports then and save this foreign exchange right so features are the seed security we are going to distribute 126 lakh quintals of certified seeds uh, then 88 lakh free seed kits for farmers then we are going to use this sathi portal for seed authentication then assured procurement 100 percent procurement of three pulses that is tur urad and masur okay tur urad and masur uh, for next four years then infrastructure support will be is going to be uh, provided you will get a subsidy up to 25 lakh per unit and uh, we are going to establish thousand post harvest processing units okay so yes these are the some things that are there they are mentioned in the news okay next is crop insurance premium falls 34 percent in fy 26 so what you have to take from this is this part okay farmers share of premiums under pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana this is important for you so for kharif crops farmer share of premium is two percent of the sum ensure for rabbi it is 1.5 and for commercial horticulture it is a five percent for kharif it's two for rabbi it's 1.5 and for horticulture it's 5 okay so yes this is uh, what you have to track from this news that is crop and shop best of luck for your coming mains examination thank you so much for watching see you in the next session